VMN 3.5-5.5 Instructions Manual Vertical Mixer Wagon Machine Presentation Description of the Machine Mixer composed of a mixing tank, independent chassis, vertical helical mixing auger with 9 adjustable knives, 2 adjustable counter knives, discharge system by adjustable chute or optional conveyor belt driven by hydraulic motor, dosing door with hydraulic opening, among others. It also has a compartment for adding flowers, hay guard, transmission through planetary gearbox and gearbox with oil, wheel system with two wheels, drawbar to coupled to the tractor, precision electronic weighing system with indicator, load cells, and sound buzzer. Machine Identification Whenever you request information, help from technical assistance or replacement parts, mention the serial number and model indicated on the identification tag affixed to your machine header, to the right of the jack. Safety Precautions The machine in DG500 scale operation manual is located in a specific compartment next to the front counter knife. Safety precautions. Read this manual carefully before using the machine. It indicates the good safety practices that must be observed and respected during all stages of use. Get used to the operating procedures, maintenance, and safety information. We remember that the preservation of people's health and physical integrity must always come first. In the event of any doubts, please consult our after-sales department. Safety Stickers In this manual and on the stickers affixed to the machine, you will find some safety symbols accompanied by the warnings caution and danger, followed by specific instructions. These instructions are intended to safeguard your own safety and that of other people working on or around the machine. The stickers affixed to the machine provide a series of important indications, respecting the signs is safeguarding your safety. Replace illegible or damaged decals immediately. Use of PPE Personal protective equipment PPE, is any device of individual use intended to protect the health and physical integrity of the worker with the intention of also minimizing the risks of the work environment and promoting health, well-being and avoiding accidents and occupational diseases. Safety Components and Operation Risk Cardan Shaft Safety Protection Developed to prevent any contact with the moving parts of the Cardan Shaft during operation. Risk of removing this protection. Contact with the moving parts of the Cardan Shaft in motion can cause serious injuries such as fractures, twists, mutilation, etc., with risk of death. Transmission Protection Designed to prevent contact with transmission elements, shaft, bearing, cardan, during operation. Risk of removing this protection. Contact with the parts in motion can cause serious injuries such as fractures, sprains, mutilation, etc. Supply cover protection. Designed to prevent contact with the mixing auger during operation. 
Risk of removing this protection. Contact with the mixing auger in motion can cause serious injuries such as fractures, sprains, mutilation, etc. Existing risks. Never climb onto the machine while it is running. It is forbidden to stand on any part of the machine when it is working or being transported. There is a risk of falling with serious injuries. Actions required. Turn off the tractor, remove the ignition key and wait until the machine is idle before approaching or climbing on any part of the machine. Do not allow people to stand on the machine when transporting it. Existing risks. Do not allow people or animals close by when operating the machine. The mixer was designed to be maneuvered by only one operator. The presence of people or animals in the maneuvering area may result in an accident due to being run over. Actions required. Before maneuvering, check and remove nearby people or animals. Keep everyone out of the area near the machine. Inform people to keep a safe distance during maneuvers. Existing risks. Never approach the discharge conveyor with the machine on. Contact with the moving conveyor will cause an accident with very serious injuries. Actions required. Keep away and at a safe distance from the machine while it is running. Never approach or try to touch the conveyor. Due to inertia, the conveyor remains in motion for some time after the machine is turned off. Wait until all components have come to a complete stop before approaching the machine. Existing risks. Never put your hands through the discharge chute with the machine turned on. Contact with the auger in motion will cause an accident with very serious injuries. Actions required. Keep away and at a safe distance from the machine while it is running. Never approach or try to put your hands through the discharge chute. Existing risks. Never put your hands inside the dispenser with the machine turned on. Contact with the auger in motion will cause an accident with very serious injuries. Actions required. Be careful when adding ingredients, never try to put your hands inside the dispenser with the machine turned on. Keep the dispenser with the protection cover mounted, it prevents contact with the mixing auger in motion. Existing risks. Do not use the cardan shaft without safety protection. Risk of serious injury in case of contact with the moving parts of the shaft in operation. Actions required. Keep the protections mounted on the cardan. Replace them if they show faults that reduce their effectiveness. Existing risks. Never enter the mixing tank with the cardan attached to the tractor. Risk of serious accident if the machine is switched on unexpectedly with people inside. Actions required. Before entering the mixing tank, turn off the tractor, remove the ignition key and uncouple the cardan from the power takeoff. Prohibitions. It is forbidden to carry out any maintenance, adjustment or repair procedure on the connected machine. Turn off the tractor and remove the cardan before starting one of these procedures. It is forbidden to use the machine to transport people, animals and or objects. It is forbidden to enter the mixing tank with the cardan attached to the tractor. The unexpected start of the machine with a person's inside could cause a serious accident, with risk of death. It is forbidden to approach or touch the discharge conveyor belt in motion. It is forbidden to put your hand inside the dispenser while the machine is running. It is forbidden to damage, alter or remove the covers, protections and warnings placed on the machine. It is forbidden to modify, even partially, any component of the machine. It is forbidden to damage or remove the safety stickers. Machine Components Hay Guard Arch for Hay Containment Mixing Tank Stores the mix ingredients Indicator Weighs the ingredients Level For loading and controlling the planetarium oil level Cardan shaft Transmits rotation and torque from the tractor to the machine Hitch Couple the mixer to the tractor Front load cell Sensor of the precision weighing system 
Rear load cells. Sensors of the precision weighing system. Jack, it has a support function when the mixer is uncoupled and adjusts the height of the hitch to facilitate coupling to the tractor. Versions of the machine. Gravity discharge chute. Directs and discharges the mixture into the trough. Conveyor discharge chute. Directs and discharges the mixture into the trough. Counter knife. Assists knives in cutting fibrous products. Wheels. For the machine locomotion. Supply compartment. Compartment for loading flour products. Hydraulic motor. Moves the discharge conveyor belt. Discharge conveyor belt. It is part of the discharge chute and its function is to discharge the food into the trough. Knife. Cut the fibrous products. Mixer auger. Mix the ingredients. Planetary gearbox. Reduces and transmits rotation and torque to the mixing auger. Functioning. Coupling slash activation. The mixer is coupled to the tractor's drawbar and activated through the power takeoff, 540 RPM. Loading. Loading is carried out mechanically, using a wheel loader, feeder auger, etc., depending on the type of material. Cutting and mixing. Mixing is carried out by a vertical helical auger calculated to ensure the movement of the ingredients inside the tank and provide a homogeneous mixture. Sharp knives and adjustable counter knives, respectively positioned on the auger and in the tank, cut and incorporate products with long fibers, such as hay, straw, silage, etc., into the mixture. Distribution. The finished mixture is distributed directly into the trough by a chute or a conveyor belt driven by a hydraulic motor, depending on the mixer model. The distributed volume is determined by the tractor's displacement speed, conveyor speed, inversions with conveyor belt, and discharge gate opening. Required tractor. It is recommended to use a Category 2 tractor, with 540 RPM on the PTO, in the following powers, 3.5 cubic meters mixer, from 50 horsepower on PTO. 5.5 cubic meters mixer, from 55 horsepower at PTO. Boarding. Disembarking. Transport. Use a truck, trailer or other similar vehicle whenever it is necessary to transport the machine over long distances or on public roads. To tie the mixer to the truck body, use the straps indicated in the figure. Loading. To lift the machine, use a winch or hoist with appropriate capacity to the machine weight. Always lift the machine at the four points on the inside edge of the mixing tank. Boarding slash disembarking with platform. The platform should be at the same height as the truck bed. Using a forklift or tractor, move the wagon slowly and carefully to place it inside the truck bed. Secure it to the truck bed and block both wheels. To disembark, perform the reverse operation. Boarding slash disembarking with ramp. The ramp should be at the same height as the truck bed. Using a forklift or tractor, move the wagon slowly and carefully to place it inside the truck bed. Secure it to the truck bed and block both wheels. To disembark, perform the reverse operation. Coupling slash activation.
Coupling. Choose a flat place to couple the mixer to the tractor. Carefully approach the tractor to the mixer, aligning the drawbar with the machine's hitch. Place the hitch pin and lock it with the safety cotter pin. After coupling, place the jack in the rest position and lock it with the safety pin and cotter pin. Cardan Shaft The machine is supplied with the cardan shaft for connection to the tractor. Before using it, check if the length is suitable for the tractor that will be used. Due to the distance between the tractor power takeoff and the machine shaft varying in different tractor models, it may be necessary to cut the cardan. With the mixer coupled and without the cardan shaft, maneuver the tractor so that the right rear tire approaches the machine's header as much as possible, without touching it, see the figure on the side. For the measurement and cutting of the propeller shaft, start by removing the protective cover. Using a screwdriver, loosen the three locks that hold the protective cover to the propeller shaft. After loosening the locks, remove the protective covers. Repeat the process on the other side of the propeller shaft, loosening the three locks to remove the protective cover. With the locks loosened, remove the protective cover from the propeller shaft. Attach the male side of the propeller shaft to the machine and the female side to the tractor. Position the propeller shaft tube side by side for measurement. There should be a minimum clearance of 50 millimeters at each end of the propeller shaft. With this clearance in mind, mark the cutting points. Refer to the image for the cutting locations, considering the recommended clearance. Secure the propeller shaft tube in a vise or clamp and make the cuts at the previously marked points, ensuring proper use of personal protective equipment PPE. Repeat the process for the other propeller shaft tube. Using a flap sanding disc, remove any burrs left after cutting. A file can also be used if a sanding disc is not available. Once the cuts and sanding are finished, reassemble the protective covers of the propeller shaft.
Pay attention to the correct alignment of the lubrication points on the protective cover of the propeller shaft. Repeat the process on the other side of the propeller shaft and attach its protective cover, ensuring proper alignment of the lubrication point. Once the propeller shaft is at the appropriate size, attach the male side to the machine and the female side to the tractor. Then, secure the chains of the propeller shaft cover to fixed points on the machine. Hydraulic Connection Connect the hoses to the tractor remote control valves, pushing it firmly against the valve coupler, paying attention to the proper pairs of the remote control valves, in this case the pairs are vertical. Mounting the Indicator The indicator is supplied disassembled from the machine to avoid possible damage during transport. Assembly is simple, as instructed below. Start by passing and connecting the female power cable of the indicator to the tractor battery. Indicator instruction and operation link in the description of this video. Make the connection to the battery, remembering that, for the electrical supply of the weighing system, use only 12 volts batteries. Connect the cable from the indicator socket to the tractor's battery power cable. Remove the indicator from the packaging. Connect the sensor cable then the power cable, taking care to connect the cables correctly according to the pinout, otherwise this could even damage the indicator. Turn on the indicator and wait until the panel lights up completely. Adjusting the counter knives. The function of the counter knives is to help the auger knives in cutting fibrous materials. The mixer has two adjustable counter knives in five different positions. The counter knives are fixed to the support with pins. The end of the lock pin has a geometry that fits into the geometry in the lock hole. To remove or insert the pin, the geometry must be aligned, otherwise the pin will not come out. The counter knives have five adjustment positions, in general, the longer the fibers, the more advanced the counter knives must be. 
Once the ideal size is obtained, lock it in the desired position. Position 1, completely out of tank generally used when mixing is the objective, when chopping is not essential. Position 5, completely inside the tank generally used for chopping materials with long fibers. Examples, hay, straw, etc. Adjusting the mixing auger knives. Attention! Before entering the wagon make sure it is not yet coupled to the tractor as a safety measure. The function of the mixing auger knives is to chop the fibrous materials, facilitating their incorporation into the mixture. The knives have three different adjustment positions, allowing the professional in the property's food area to seek the adjustment that best meets the needs. See the three possible knife adjustment positions. Position 1 Back Back, generally used for short fiber, grain and similar materials. Position 2 – Intermediate, generally used to chop products with medium fibers. Position 3 – Advanced, generally used to chop products with longer fibers, for example, hay, straw, etc. Position 3 – Advanced, generally used to chop products with longer fibers, for example, hay, straw, etc. Position 2, intermediate generally used to chop products with medium fibers. Position 1, backed back, generally used for short fiber, grain and similar materials. After choosing the desired position, lock the bolts using their respective nuts so as not to leave any loose or slack knife and damage the mixing wagon. Scraper Adjustment To set or adjust the scraper, loosen the three bolts that secure it to the base of the mixing auger and reposition it using the oblong hole. Be careful not to damage the bottom of the mixing tank. flower supplier. Use the supply compartment to add products such as farinaceous products to the mix. For supplying, proceed as shown below. Pull the latch and keep it pulled, then remove the filler cap and release the latch. Never put your hands inside the supply compartment with the machine running. There is a risk of a very serious accident in case of contact with the moving mixing auger. After loading the flour, pull the lock, replace the lid and release the lock. Belt Height Adjustment The discharge conveyor belt has a height adjustment system that makes it possible to adjust it to the height of the trough. With your hands, slightly lift the conveyor belt, just to relieve the weight on the support locks. 
Pull the two support locks to unlock the conveyor belt, position the belt at the desired height and fit the lock onto the pin. Do this on both sides of the conveyor to obtain a height adjustment suitable for the trough conditions. Conveyor Speed Adjustment This valve controls the flow of oil to the hydraulic motor that drives the unloading conveyor. Close valve to decrease speed. The more open the valve, the faster the conveyor speed and vice versa. Change valve opening to adjust draper speed as needed. Open valve to increase speed. Make sure that the conveyor belt always rotates in the discharge direction and PTO at a maximum of 540 RPM. Opening the discharge door. Operate the tractor remote control valve to open it at the desired height. Note on the indicator on the side that it has 10 opening levels, facilitating the operator's vision during the unloading. Removing the hydraulic hoses. With the tractor hydraulic lever in the neutral position, pull the hose hitch firmly and quickly to prevent loss of hydraulic oil. Clean quick couplers and replace plugs. Position the hoses on the support to facilitate their transport when they are not coupled. Uncoupling the machine from the tractor. Loosen the chains that lock the card end cover, then uncouple the card end from the tractor and place it on the support. Attention! Note that the hydraulic hoses and power cables have already been removed. Loosen the jack lock pin and place it in the support position. Lower the jack to the necessary height to decouple the machine from the tractor. Next, remove the cotter pin and hitch pin to remove the machine. Carefully disengage the machine from the tractor. Discharge Belt Tension Adjustment Loosen the nuts on the four bolts that secure the bearings to the belt and the tension spindles to control the discharge belt tension, as shown below. then see that the belt will be released. Tighten the tensioner nuts on both sides until the belt is tensioned. With the aid of a measuring tape, check the measurement of the stretchers, this measurement should be the same on both sides of the belt, if there is a divergence, adjust the measurements so that they are equal. After the measurements are the same, tighten the nuts that lock the belt tensioners.
tighten the nuts of the four bolts that secure the belt bearings on both sides. Conveyor Cleaner Adjustment The function of the cleaner is to prevent the accumulation of dirt on the inside of the discharge belt. It must remain leaning against the belt, but without forcing it so that it does not wear out prematurely. Whenever you stretch the belt, check that the cleaner remains against it. If necessary, loosen the bolts on both sides of the belt and move the cleaner until it touches the inner face of the belt, then retighten the bolts. Move the scraper into position on both sides of the belt. Remember that the cleaner does not have the function of stretching the belt, it must only work against it. Finally, tighten the bolts that secure the cleaner to the belt. Maintenance Replacement of knives This is an operation that requires special care. Before entering the mixing tank, open the discharge door, turn off the tractor engine, remove the PTO shaft from the mixer, remove the tractor key and take it with you. Be careful, starting the machine with people inside will cause a very serious accident. The use of PPE, personal protective equipment, is mandatory. Knives are sharp, wear suitable gloves to handle them safely. Take special care not to injure yourself with the knives when moving inside the tank. Knives are sharp and can cause injuries if they come into contact with them. The knives subject to the most wear are those mounted on the lower part of the auger. For even wear, it is advisable to invert the bottom knives with the top ones before resorting to replacement. When all knives are worn out, replace the complete kit. Remember that dull knives require more power to cut, forcing the machine and the tractor itself. Carefully remove the three bolts holding the knife and its holder to the mixing auger. Remove the bolt that secures the knife to the holder. Replace the knife with a new one, if the holder or bolts are damaged or worn, they must also be replaced.
Next, fix the support to the knife with the bolt previously removed. Then fix the bolts that hold the holder and knife assembly to the mixer auger. Warning. Never change the position of the lower knife on the 3.5 cubic meter mixer. The knife must remain in the original factory position, otherwise the mixer will be damaged. The remaining knives can be repositioned. This recommendation is exclusive to the 3.5 cubic meter mixer. Maintenance. Tires. The correct pressure of tires is essential to increase their durability. Check the pressure after the first 10 hours and monthly thereafter. Calibrate whenever necessary with cold tires. Inflation pressure, 52 PSI, 3.6 bar. With the aid of a pressure gauge, check the correct calibration. If it is necessary to change a tire, pay attention to the correct support position of the hydraulic jack. The use of other points not recommended could damage the structure of the machine and cause a serious accident. Lubrication Adequate and regular lubrication is essential to guarantee the good performance and durability of the machine. Periodic inspections and the use of clean, quality lubricants are recommended. Lubrication Conveyor belt. Lubricate with lithium soap based grease, NLGI classification 2, example, Lubrax LAH2. Lubricate every 10 working hours or daily. Lubrication PTO bearings and shaft Using a grease fitting or pump, lubricate with special grease for bearings, based on lithium soap, NLGI classification 2, example, Lubrax LIDH2. Lubricate every 10 working hours or daily. Lubrication Cardan shaft. Separate the two parts of the cardan and, using a grease gun or pump, lubricate the cardan bars every 20 hours of work. Use lithium based grease, NLGI2. Refit the two parts and move to spread the grease and lubricate both parts. Lubricate the cardan crosses every 10 hours of work. Use lithium-based grease, NLGI-2. <music> Lubricate. 
lubrication, hydraulic cylinder, lubricate with lithium soap based grease, NLGI classification 2, example, Lubrax LAH2. Lubricate every 50 working hours or weekly. Lubrication. Jack. Using a grease fitting or pump, lubricate with special grease for bearings, based on lithium soap, NLGI classification 2, example, Lubrax LIH2. Lubricate every 50 working hours or daily. Lubrication. Planetary box oil change. Before starting the oil change, the mixer must be leveled in both directions, transversely and longitudinally. Look for a flat spot and watch for leveling. Recommended oil DA in 51517-3, viscosity, ISO VG220. First change, after the first 100 hours of work. Other changes, every 800 working hours or one year, whichever comes first. Before starting any maintenance under the machine, wedge the two tires using appropriate chocks or wooden stumps. The planetary box is located below the mixer S tank. Use a treadmill cart to access the planetary box. Remove the drain bolt to drain the oil from the planetary gearbox. Use a container to collect the oil to be replaced. Then, with the help of a syringe for oil extraction, remove the rest of the oil that was at the bottom of the box. After removing all oil, replace the drain bolt. With the aid of a wrench, remove the cap from the air outlet hose. Then remove the relief valve. By opening the relief valve, fill with the recommended amount of oil or until reaching the level. After reaching the level, replace the relief valve and the breather hose cap, tightening with the wrench. Conservation and Annual Revision As important as preventive maintenance is your machine daily conservation. This special care consists of cleaning and protecting against the weather and corrosive effects of some products. It is recommended to carry out, preferably at the end of each season, a general overhaul of the machine at your dealer or factory technical assistance.